Hello guys, um, welcome to the channel once more. Today we're taking a look at the Polaris 570. So this is um, a smaller Polaris Ranger than the ones that you would normally see. Recently for the year 2020, Polaris dropped the Ranger 900 and now you have the Ranger 1000. 1000 comes in two flavors you have the single overhead cam and the double overhead cam uh, below that uh, that size of utv or si side by side you have the polaris ranger 500 and then the 570. Um, this one uh, it's available at valili sports and marine in uh, minot north dakota or in bismarck north dakota if you look at this one carefully, you would notice it has the optional doors, it has the optional windshield, and also the optional um, roof. So, as the name uh, implies, it has a 570 cc uh, electronic fuel injected engine, and the 500, I believe, it's uh, a manual steering but the 570 gets the electronic power steering and for 2020 a major change is that that steering wheel is actually uh, you can adjust it you can tilt it so this is what uh, it looks like from the outside as you can see a very sharp looking ranger i believe uh, suspension up front it should be about a nine inch ride uh, travel and for the rear, it's about 10 inches of travel. The horsepower isn't too much. It, it's not, it doesn't sound great on paper, but I can assure you when you get in this Polaris 570, step on the gas, it will keep up with the big boys. Remember, it's a smaller uh, frame, it's lighter, and the small engine is more than capable of keeping up with the bigger boys. As you can see, you have the doors right there. Keeps you warm, especially in areas that are very cold. Very nice material. And uh, if you're also in areas that are very muddy, this will also help. You just lift it up and the dog comes right out. Easy to put on, easy to take off. In the back, you have the LED lights, which is awesome. And this one is idling it's not very noisy but you see it has a, a towing capability there i believe it's about uh, limited to 1500 and the bed in the back would carry 800 pounds tow 1500 pounds and lift 800 pounds that's the gas tank and you can see it says that with that beautiful graphic as a 570 cc engine with electronic fuel injection just for a comparison this is what the bigger brothers look like you can see they're way more larger they won't fit so well in very tight trails so depending on what kind of trails you intend to ride uh, the 570 might actually be your ticket to having fun after work uh, you can see uh, this 1000 XP's they are way bigger put out more power and they will tear up your trail very easily if you not you don't know what you're doing whereas the 570 is smaller very nimble comes with a power steering tilt steering and in a straight line would easily keep up with some of these bigger boys very little downside for the 570 so this is just to show you what they have on the lineup you can see the seating arrangement there uh, for the polaris 570 it's just a three seater bench seat but a three seater would be like for kids uh, adults two adults would fit there comfortably i wouldn't recommend three and like i said it is a bench seat in the polaris 570 
and of course uh, when you get to Valili Sport and Marine they also have the wonderful uh, retro looking box frame turbo diesel engine stick shift Roxor so if you happen to stop by at any of their locations make sure you ask about the Mahindra Roxor which is another very viable option to the Polaris Ranger line of side-by-sides. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye.